I'm just going to make a quick talk on uh, whether or not class variables are useless uh, in Ruby. Stop me at any time if uh, disagree or have a comment or whatever. <laughs> Alright, just real first, a basic but difference between class variables and instance variables. Finding the class with add at or c attribute, and instance ones with the single at and the attribute. Uh, so the first thing is, why are they so bad? Well, one of the things that Ruby does is with the when you define a class, if you inherit from that class, the other classes can overwrite that variable for all the classes that are inherited. So it's kind of like it's not what you would normally expect if you'd come from any other language where you actually have class variables that are for the single class and anything that inherits from them doesn't override it. So that's the first thing I found I came from Perl originally and try to use some class variables and that just didn't understand what was going on. <laughs> so that quickly changed my mind on using them ever. So this is kind of like just a little example of what I ended up coming up with is yeah start defining a soda, calories 750, Coke has a soda and their calories are 850, and then Mountain Dew is a soda as well, and it's 1,000. They all interact now. The question is, is when you actually run it, what do they come out? So in this instance, each time you load the next uh, class, the next class that inherits, that one ends up being the winner. So for example, First one would be 750, then 850, and then 1,000. So who, whoever loads last loads best. Um, there's lots of methods that uh, Ruby allows us to use instead that would form more like what we would expect in other languages. Uh, you got the uh, singleton class or instance variables on the class itself. And those can uh, help us a lot. I have it just there for the slides. Um, the main reason Ruby does this is because all classes in Ruby are actually objects. So when you're actually defining a class, the, the class variable is outside of the scope of what the object is. So in a, when you create a class, the object itself, the instance variables, will be defined just for that class object. Um, there's several different ways you can do that with the uh, attributes and the at symbols. Uh, there's my shameless plug. Uh, but the main reasons we don't want to use them is just because, like I said, uh, he, whoever loads last, loads best. And uh, the worst part about it is if, say, if you do it inside of a gem or a plugin, and you don't know how the person's actually going to use your gem or plugin, you might end up with unknown results from uh, which order they load it in. So. Really lightning talk, apparently. <laughs> Anyone have any instances where they might actually want to use a class variable? I think the only time you get away with it is if you're not going to inherit. If the class isn't public and they're going to have any inheritance associated with it. Yeah, but, you hope, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, you might know. But. So, for time being. Just to clarify, though, yep. there's, there's instance variables and then there's class instance variables, right? So there's the singleton class instance. And then there's instance variables. So, but you, if you do just a single at within a class method, like mm -hmm. def self dot whatever, mm -hmm. that is different to a instance variable reference within an instance method. Correct. So when you define an at variable outside of any method inside the class, that's actually the class's instance variable. Yes. A instance instance variable is only defined within a method. So if you say at variable equals one, outside of the scope of a method, you instantiate it, and then yep. you have something that will reference an at whatever. It won't be the same as what the class's instance variable is. Yeah. But if you do def self something, that instance variable will be the same instance variable for the class. So if you do... So if you do def self blah, yep. a equals that, that is the same as putting it outside of scope of... The Correct. And that has to do with what the local receiver is. So when you're defining a class, the current receiver for anything that's defined yeah. in that is the class object rather than the instance object. So you don't hit the inheritance problems right. in that. Okay, that's correct. So if the, if the, if the at 
syntax works on class for on on uh, class methods. Why do people use the um, class less and less himself thing to get a um, uh, eigen, uh, eigen class or whatever for the class? And do the that. singleton class. You can do it the same way. In some cases, six one half does another. But if you want a specific instance of that class, you can use the singleton class of it. <laughs> That's not a good way to explain it. It's, it's a bit confusing, so, because of the difference between the two, but you can do, so if you, you I don't know how to actually articulate it. <laughs> one uh, I have it just One way the results are it. totally confusing, and the other way the results will be expect. Um, so people do it that way. I'll have so the I'll slides up. The, there's a gist that I have online that actually yeah. shows <laughs> the difference yeah. of yeah. class and Egan class, or singleton class as they call it now. The different uses of it. I have the. I'll put the slides up for everyone to see, and it has a gist link to the gist of the different ways it works. So, but it's a little bit confusing. It's mostly the singleton class starts using it for metaprogramming, where you want to have it write itself. So, and you don't want it to destroy anything else. I think the pragprog screencasts on metaprogramming that really cleared it up for me. Watching mm. that. Okay. Really, really I'll add that to the slides and throw that up too. Now try and figure out all, how all these things interact with instance eval and class eval. No, no. It's inverse. <laughs> instance eval actually adds class methods, whereas class eval adds instance methods. Uh, no, no, oh, no, I have something very <laughs> basic to tell you about that. Yeah? Later on. All right. <laughs> um, so just